All right, so last episode, we did a bunch of quests. Uh, this episode, I think I need to get working towards some farming. Um, I do think the best way is going to be to get some seeds, but to do that, I want to go ahead and start doing Winter Tide. As I was looking, and that just seems like a great way to get a bunch of stuff in general. So I'm going to do some forestry and woodcut willow trees and bank the logs and bank until I have enough for 50 fire making. So I'm going to go get going on that. I'm starting at 46 wood cutting and 30 fire making and I will be back when I am done. All right, so I just realized I am completely wrong. The best way for me to get marantil seeds would be to pickpocket master farmers which I need 32 thieving for. I'm currently 28. Um, I'm going to keep woodcutting for a bit, though. May continue to get to level 50 uh, fire making, just because I'm actually quite enjoying this so far. Uh, so far, I'm 48 woodcutting, 34 fire making. It's going pretty quick. Um, I also want to continue to get anima parts. So, yeah. Gonna keep doing this, even though it won't get me what I want. Alright, so as much as I think I would love to stay and keep woodcutting to get to the fire making, I'm gonna stop five levels off. I need to do The Lost City and Fairy Tale Part 1. So let's go ahead and knock out Lost City really quick. So I didn't realize you could take combat runes because on RuneScape 3, you're not allowed to take combat runes. So like your only way of doing this quest is bringing something that you can uh, craft a bow with. Um, so yeah, uh, this should be much easier than I thought it was going to be. Hopefully it goes pretty smoothly. Okay, I don't know how many of these extra I will need, so I am just going to grab a couple. And I can fletch them. I need 31 crafting to make the staff. Crap, so I'm going to go get the crafting level. Alright, so I think it's going to be best if I kill these cows and collect the cow hide to make leather. So... I'm going to go for quite a few cow hides. We'll see. Hopefully I don't need to come back. And there is 31 prayer. Okay, so I realize I'm going about this all wrong. I can just do the elemental workshop, and I'm fairly certain that's going to get me like 90% of the way there. So I'm going to go ahead and bang out... Elemental Workshop 1, and get 31 crafting that way. There we go, 5k crafting XP, which gets me to level 29, so that skips quite a few levels, and then 32 smithing. Awesome. Okay, I do not know, I think... Let me think about what I'm going to do. I'm either going to do Elemental 2 or just do some uh, flax up in Sears Village for the last few levels. All right, so I'm just finishing up with some hard leather bodies. This seems to be enough. I don't run out of thread. There we go. There is crafting level 31. I can now make my Draymond staff. Okay. This time for real, I should be done with the quest. There we go. Lost City. I can also now create uh, cosmic runes. Sweet. So next, I am going to do Fairy Tale Part 1. Alright, so before I can do the next quest, I have to do Nature Spirit. So, if I show you here, yeah, I have to do Nature Spirit before I can do Fairy Tale. And I 
think I should be okay. Um, where is it? There we go. Yeah, I should have all the requirements, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I just need to go get some silver bars and a silver sickle. So I think the best place to get silver bars is going to be Artie, so I'll make my way over there. Okay, so it looks like buying from the silver merchant is going to be my best bet. Walk slowly over there. Go ahead and buy one silver bar, and then I have to go and get the sickle mold, which I think best bet is going to be to go to Alcarid for this. So I did get 31 magic, so this is just slowly making teleporting everywhere much easier. So I end up buying the sickle and then one of every mold. I don't know if I'll need them, but... It's probably better to just get them now, and then when I do need them later, I'm not screwed trying to find them. Alright, so now I can just go ahead and make the silver sickle, and I should be good to go ahead and start the quest. So I'm going to make my way over to the starting grounds and get going on this. Okay, this is going pretty quick. Just finished the first part. Now comes the fun part. Okay, this should be it. There is the end of Nature Spirit. Awesome. And while I'm here, oh, there's 29 hit points as well. 32 defense and 32 crafting. If I pray, there is a easy Mauritania achievement task. Sweet. Now I should have everything I need to do Fairy Tale Part 1. Looks like it. Uh, level 30 farming's recommended, but we're gonna just go for it. I think I should be okay. We'll find out together. So I'm gonna make my way over to there and do it. So, I just realized while looking into this quest and the next one that... I'm not going to be able to do Fairy Tale Part 2, but I can do quite a few other quests to maybe get me closer. Uh, we'll see how many of those I can get done, but I don't think we're going to get there this episode, unfortunately. So I do need to go and talk to some more farmers, so let's start by heading northwest. Okay, so I was reading more into the quest guides, and I can do Fairy Tale Part 2 up until the Fairy Rings. But let's continue with Part 1. So this should be to get uh, the list to enchant my secateurs. Go ahead and spam through it. Okay, so that was awkward. I missed a step. Now should be. Uh, I talked to him twice, and I can get the list. So here is going to be the first one. Okay. A bucket of super compost. Some moss and baby dragon bones. Oh boy. Um, I think this should be doable. Okay, so it looks like all of this should be doable. I will just need to go and get the stuff to make super compost. Let's see if I can relatively easily find all of this. Okay, so I bought the pineapple from the charter, and I think this is going to be my best bet to get the super compost. And then we will have to head to... Um, the Karamja Island in order to get the herb and then we'll have to go and kill a baby dragon. So I'm going to go ahead and get this compost composting and get going with that to start. Okay, so in order to get this next part, I have to have started um, Jungle Potion. So honestly, it just makes sense to do this quest so i'm gonna go ahead 
Yeah, I knock out Jungle Potion. But I'm gonna make my way down south and get going on it. Okay, so here should be Jungle Potion. Uh, unless I get stunned. There we go, there is the jungle potion completed. And I got some of the extra herbs I need for quests. Um, I think next what's gonna be best is to go kill the baby dragon, green baby dragon in the um, Brimhaven Slayer dungeon. But I need a hatchet and I don't wanna have to run all the way back so I'm hoping there's one here. Um, there is. There's an axe. Awesome. Okay, so now I can go into the Brimhaven Slayer dungeon and kill some baby dragon. Okay, so I'm killing the baby dragons here. And... Oh, I need to eat so I don't die. Should give me the bones. And then I just need to go and wait for the compost to finish. Okay, so there we go. I do now have all three ingredients, and I can work my way over to the nature spirit and make them into the magic secateurs. And there we go. I've got the magic secateurs. Now to make my way back to Entrana. All right, so I'm basically just flinching Tanglefoot. So I stand over here, wait for the thing to disappear, go back, wait for the hit bar to disappear, hit, go back. So this is going to take a while. Oh man, that took way too long. So that took like an hour to do flinching. Now I just have to hand these in and we will have fairy tale part one complete. So, I will be back when I get to the Godfather. And here we go. 3k farming, 2k attack, 1k magic. And there is 18 farming without ever really planting anything. 33 magic. I can now cast Telegrab. Okay, now I just need to do part of Fairy Tale Part 2. And I will have access to fairy rings, which will make getting around the game bearable. So, talking to uh, Martin the Farmer, going to go ahead and start the quest and get going. So, I'm only going to go, because I don't have the levels, until I unlock fairy rings. But I really need fairy rings. So, how... Shouldn't take too long. It's a sh medium quest to begin with, so it should go pretty fast. Okay! I can now use fairy rings. Sweet. So this is going to make getting around the game so much easier. That is cool. Well... I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to call it an episode here. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.